Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell Podcast. Casey Campbell with you. First, we are pleased to be joined by Andrew Turnquist of Lakeland Boys Basketball. How's it going? It's going good. Thank you for having me. Um, so go ahead. So just talking about how the season's going so far, by the way, congrats on the win last night uh, against Wald Lake Central. How to talk yeah, about just the start to the season. It's been it's been a it's been kind of a different kind of season just because we started uh, a week early. I mean a week later. Sorry about that. Um, so we have less practice time. Therefore, we've just been really, really getting in, working hard for the two hours that we have, making sure. And we have a lot of younger guys. So this year, um, my coach really put it on me to step up as a leader more than last year as a junior. I wasn't. I don't feel I was a big of a leader this year. That's something he really wanted me to do to get the younger guys more involved. And I feel so far we've done a really good job coming in the first two games. Yeah, of course, I was I was there against Heartland earlier this week. But overall, um, where do you guys think you're at in those uh, in those first two games heading into uh, a tough a tough game with um, another from opponent I'm familiar with, of course, uh, Northville on Monday. I think we're in a good spot right now. Um, it, I know you're at the game, so you've seen our lineup. We got a pretty tall starting lineup, so we got like six foot, six five, six six, six eight. Me, so I think on defense, that's going to be our our bread and butter, as our coach says, to, uh, to get us wins. Because we get stops on defense that turns into more offense, and that will just keep us racking up points. And guys are – in, and, and coach said this after the Heartland game, guys are real, guys really contributed these uh, – uh, with with these games that not a lot of people were, were expecting to as well. Guys coming off the bench really had some – had some key moments too. Yes, for sure. Um, we got a few sophomores that really stepped up. Cole Bromley – he stepped up against Heartland. Um, Hayden plays good defense. He's another sophomore. So we got some younger guys that are really stepping up. Jacob Ansorch, he's also he's a senior this year. Um, I felt these past two games, he's really stepped up. He's like our big man. He's been in the right spots getting us rebounds. So these few guys are key points for us. Yeah. Um, so going into, you know, the next few games, because it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough schedule for you guys, I know. Um, you got Northville on Monday and then uh, I don't and what do you want to see out of these games before we head in, head into the Christmas break? I kind of just want to see us all gel as a team. Um, we we all play. We want to. We, it's more than just basketball. We want to play for each other. We want to get more people to come out to the games and just overall have fun with this. Um, that's what I really. That's why. That's like one of the big things that I, as a leader, t- tell us as a team. Like we want to. We want to go out and, and play at, at, together as a team, but also have fun while we're doing it. So I just want to see the guys gel together and overall have fun, but also get wins yeah um going into going into this season what what, what, did, you, what did you think were your biggest goals is this are you talking individual or team wise um for you going into this season what what, what were what were your goals to kind of kind of get better at, at the game um my goals were just to be able to play inside out so i want to be able to what i really worked on in the off season was dribbling um, shooting, so make, creating shots at six to eight, being able to dribble and bring the ball up, is, I think is very effective, especially if I want to play at the next level. So that was one of my big things. And just as a team, uh, I want to win the district. I want to go undefeated and make it to regionals. That's just like some of my big goals. If you want to go on, I mean, it's, I mean, you guys, uh, you guys have drawn a pretty tough region as well. And also, um, uh, Lakes Valley Conference is, uh, you never know what's going to happen. Of course, we saw that last night with Milford beating Mott. Oh, oh um, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a battle for sure. Um, especially when we get to like actual league play when we're playing against each other in the conference. Um, anything can happen. Really, I've seen some crazy things happen just on my four years of playing varsity. Yeah, yeah. What was it like uh, being on varsity all four years? Not many people can say that. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a great experience. When I was a freshman coming in. Um, Coach Thompson had me practice with varsity. Um, I didn't know exactly if I was going to even get much playing time on varsity, which I ended up not. I only started – I mean, I didn't even start, but I only got a few minutes on varsity when I did play varsity. But it was a great experience. We had Dave Jabiro at the time. Yeah. Um, he came from Brother Rice, so he had a really good guard, an all-state guard, um, a few other good guys. And we were actually supposed to win the district, um, but COVID shut us down. We were like – we had the odds to win district. We were favored. So it was a fun year, though. I had a lot of fun – playing with the upperclassmen, got to go to a few um, summer camps with them coming into my freshman year. So overall, I got a team, I got a good team bonding with them. And those are the guys that still check up on me. Like, they'll still text me and ask how the season's going, how we're looking. 
some of them even come to the game. So it's a, it's a good experience as a freshman. Yeah, I think some of the alum uh, have have come to come to the games and see what's going on. Uh, but um, also, Monday's your home opener, if I'm not mistaken. Like this is the first time you yes. guys. Have home. Yes, it is our home opener. So I'm trying to get everybody there, all the students. I like having a big student section, big crowds. It's my favorite type type of games. Yeah, I might be there too. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it, but but going into going into these next few, going into these next few. Um, what do you kind of want to see out of this team as uh and actually go also preview the next few games for Pete for um, your next few games after Northville? Yeah, so really what I want to see out of the guys, like I've already said, like I, I want to see everyone um put an effort in to practice because before we've had times where we're down in practice and we're not we, we'll do things like we'll start off with layups to get conditioning and guys are just it's a quiet gym and, and our coach always says quiet gyms are a losing gym. So little stuff like that, try to get them talking, high five each other, high five a teammate. Because um, we got a hard out of conference schedule too. We got Clarkston, Northfield, like we're playing on Monday, Davidson, um, Holly. We should, we, should, we should be okay with Holly, but Clarkston and Davidson, I think they both had a pretty good season um, last year. So it's going to be a tough out of conference schedule. Yeah, there's obvious. Yeah, and obviously uh, Davidson and Clarkston are probably uh, probably two teams that really uh, do as well in there. And you never know, and th- th- any any team. Can any team, every team is a good team. Remember that. So yeah. it's going to be like a, trying to not overlook anybody or anything like that. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be difficult. I mean, you can, you never, especially in the LVC. That's why I, I think that's a big conference where you can't overlook any team. Like Kettering can come out and have a good game and we could just play down to their level and it'd be a close game. They could end up winning. So just in our game prep, we just got to take it serious. We're going over like all the plays that they run trying to scout them take everything serious you never know teams come out hot and some teams start cold and we just got to make sure that we're ready and prepared all right Andrew Turnquist thank you so much for coming on and talking with us best of luck uh Monday against Northville yeah thank you for having me